it's a window on a completely different life, really. Uh, you know, they're, they're tiny birds. The leeches petrels are the size of a starling. Uh, and yet they're capable of these immense journeys. They only come in and out of the colony at night when it's dark because they're avoiding natural predators. And they, during the daytime, they're foraging tens, hundreds of kilometers out to sea. In, in pitch black, the island is, is covered in mist or fog, and yet they can, they can navigate back to a tiny little hole um, on, the, uh, on the edge of a cliff. It, they're just absolutely remarkable. They, they have such a different experience of this environment compared with ours. Absolutely fascinating. These are the tags that we're going to be putting to the putting on the uh, leeches storm petrels hopefully tonight and we're going to tape them to the tails of the storm petrels and these are GPS tags and they each have a little solar panel so they can continue to recharge whilst the birds are feeding at sea and an antenna to communicate with satellites and these tags will tell us every two hours exactly where the leeches petrels are. This is a complete game changer for us. So previously, when we've been trying to track these leeches storm petrels, we've relied on tags which um, are archival. So the data is stored on board the tag, and that means that we have to catch that in same individual again to remove the tag to download the data. These tags, we don't need to, to re-encounter those birds. So we can, we can put up nets in the colony at night, catch the birds, tag them, uh, and then let them carry on with their, with their, their lives. So we're currently in, in the old village on North Rona, the leeches petrol do really well in these old structures that you get left behind from human habitation. So they want either soft ground that they can burrow into or crevices behind rocks and boulders. If you come here at night, you can be standing in this historic site with all this history around you and then in addition to that, you've got leeches, petrels flying around, making their chatter calls. It's just such a special, special place. So the tags are attached to the tail feathers using two tiny strips of adhesive tape. Um, and that means that uh, in time, those tags will detach, the tape will lose its adhesion, the tags will detach and, and fall off. So the bird isn't encumbered with this tag um, for too long. And then when the tag carried by the bird returns to the colony, the tag communicates with a base station that we leave at the colony and offloads the data that's being collected whilst the bird has been out at sea. The welfare of the birds is just absolutely paramount. If we as scientists came along and just added a whole lot more stress to their lives, you know, we, we, you know, we, that, that, that's not what we're about. It is now quarter to 
quarter past three and we've had the most incredible night. We managed to take, tag 10 birds tonight, which is that's beyond my expectation. If we'd have done five, I'd have been happy. So 10, I'm kind of, I'm overjoyed. So it's been a, been a really amazing evening. It's been probably, you know, it's one of the most memorable nights um, I've had doing this kind of work. Um, I've been to some incredible places and seen some um, amazing birds, and, and this is right up there amongst some of the very best things I've ever done. So it's been absolutely wonderful, and, and a great team to be doing it with. So it's been it's been a lot of fun, and uh, yeah, we're going to be going back to our back to our tents very happy. Well, it looks like once we put the tags on, they go out to sea, and then within one night, two nights, they're back, which is what you'd expect if they've got chicks to feed or they're going to swap incubation shifts with their partners. So as far as we can tell, we don't seem to have impacted their behaviour, and they're coming back to the colony as, as you'd expect them to do. Which is good news. Which is really good news, yeah. Yeah, the last thing we want to do is cause any negative impact on the birds both for the birds welfare sake but also because then the data that you get at the end of it just isn't as reliable. The areas that they're using and on the edge of where the drop-off is between the continental shelf waters and then the, the seabed dives down to a thousand meters depth um, and that they're, they're, they're foraging along along that undersea cliff edge by and large and they're sharing areas with the birds that breed on St Kilda. So it's looking like this, this area is absolutely critical for birds both from St Kilda, the protected area of St Kilda where there's a massive, massive colony, and also this smaller colony but similarly important colony in that it's a protected area. As a, as a seabird biologist, I'm interested in the ecology of these birds, these leachy storm petrels. So I want to know where they're feeding, what they're feeding on, how that affects um, their, their kind of population. But as a conservation scientist, I really want to know what threats they're facing um, and how um, their foraging might expose them to certain threats. So, so the purpose of the tagging really is to understand more about the ecology of the birds, um, but also specifically to figure out the threats that might be posed by offshore wind development, very particularly, because over the course of the next number of years, uh, the waters around this island um, are likely to be developed for offshore wind farms. Uh, and, and we really don't know what the implications of that might be. Time is really of the essence here because um, this development is, is going to go ahead. It's, it's, it's needed in the sense that we really need to decarbonise our economy. We really need to be um, you know, making much better use of, of renewable energy sources than we have done hitherto. So you know, we, we, we welcome um, green energy, but it needs to be conducted in a way which doesn't have negative impacts on the, the biodiversity, on the, on the birds, um, that call this island home. Now we're leaving North Rona, so we've been out here for about 10 days or so, and we've tagged 13 birds, we've collected data whilst we were out here, um, but we've left a base station out here that will be collecting data now that we're departing and we'll be back in a number of weeks perhaps a month or so to collect the base station and that we hope will show us what the birds have been doing after we left so that the tags will continue to collect data and transmit that to the base station so there's a whole series of things that have to work in our favor for, for this to be achieved and any one of those things not not happening means it's game over so uh, we've been incredibly fortunate really one way or another with the, 
with the weather, with the technology, the kit, the team that we've had have been absolutely fantastic. Um, so really we couldn't have asked for a better time out here. So we'll do you want to do the honours and press on? <laughs> oh, oh, it's flashing. That's a good sign. See what we've got. So the furthest away we've got is 355 kilometres from the colony. So it just shows how far these tiny birds are, are foraging. Oh, it's been fantastic. We've managed to achieve so much more than we would have been able to do um, using the technology that was previously available to us. There's always improvements to be made and technology will continue to advance, but we're delighted with the information that we've managed to collect. We've, we've tracked 13 birds for a few weeks. Um, the colony is hundreds of birds and the breeding season lasts for many months. And so really this is the start. So this is really important because it shows that these tags, they, they work, they can provide us with new information, as Connie says, information that we couldn't have got otherwise. So this, I think, now is the, um, is the platform from which we'll, we'll move forward. The tags are only going to get better. They'll become even smaller, they'll work for longer, they'll, they'll, they'll give us more information. Um, so, so this is the start of the next big thing, I think. Yeah, really excited.